All new at 11 now, a couple expecting their first child loses everything after their house catches on fire. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska with efforts tonight to help them before the baby arrives. At 2.30 this morning, Gina and Juan Serrano's Seminole Heights duplex turned into a raging inferno. I'm just trying to stay strong because I don't want to stress the baby out. The Serrano's emotional roller coaster began Sunday afternoon. Juan was bartending at the Independent, saw smoke near his home, and rushed over. His wife, Gina, was there too and watched first responders on their ring camera. We were torn up about our neighbors because they lost a lot of things, and we were really sad about that. And we were very fortunate to, you know, think that we got away unscathed. At that point, they only had smoke damage, and their two cats were okay. So they collected some belongings and went to a relative's to figure out the next step. This morning, they received a text message they didn't expect. I bawled, I cried, um, but you know, once we got there, she just, we have to be strong for each other um, because we're okay and that's the most important thing. Tampa Fire told me they searched for hot spots for several hours after the first fire here in this home, but these are older homes, so they said it might have been difficult to find an ember that might have made it into the attic and then reignited overnight. It's memories that are gone. That's the sad thing. The couple find out Thursday if they are having a boy or a girl. Gina is due in September. They did not have renter's insurance. A strong woman. Yeah. And he's a good, he's a good papa. Juan knows they'll make it through. His work family at the Independent and community members already raising more than $10,000 to get them back on their feet. Just the support from the community. Everyone. And like our family and our friends. It's like overwhelming. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.